Hi, this is John Darris from Running Aces in the North Metropolitan area in the city of Columbus. This is opening night, the sixth year in a row, opening night for standard bred horse racing, harness racing in the North Metropolitan area. Running Aces is located where 35W and 35E come together, right in the North Metropolitan area. There's a lot of fun in there, a lot of people having a good time. We're gonna go and join them. This is the biggest night ever, the biggest night ever for Running Aces. We're gonna break every record and we want you to come in and have fun with us. Let's go. You know, you can't have a places like Running Aces, which is a wonderful success story without good management. And I think we have the best manager in the United States in this industry. He's uh, each year produced a bigger winner, and this is our biggest year ever, and I think this is our biggest opening night ever. Bob Farinella. Bob? Hey, John, how are you? I'm good. Welcome. This is what year for us? This is our sixth year of racing. Six live season. So, uh, and I do believe it's gotten a little better each year, hasn't it? No question. Every year the crowds are better, the horses are better, uh, the enthusiasm continues to go through the roof every year. Well, um, now we're right here at the gateway to uh, the Twin Cities, where Highway 35E and 35W come together, and uh, it's a convenient place to get to. And um, tell us, once you get here, what happens? What can you do here? Well, basically, if you're here, especially in the summertime, we've got live racing every Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. So it's a great summer entertainment place for the North Metro area. All year long, great restaurant, good food, and of course, we've got good poker and blackjack games all year round. Boy, that room over there is very crowded. There's a lot of people over there having fun playing cards. And then there's a lot more in the other room watching horse racing. It's amazing, isn't it? The parking lot's full. Everybody's having a stick. <laughs> it's That's, really amazing, it no is. question. We got a very good crowd. Today. Well, thanks to you and your wonderful staff, we do. We have a good team here, no question. You, you really do, and and uh, it's worked the right way, and it's a great business plan, and uh, I think we're kind of outgrowing our confines here. I mean. Boy, I, this is this is wonderful to have this many people, but this place looked so big when we opened it up. Yeah, amazing. We looked at this when it was first open, and we said, we're going to be able to fill this place. Now we're really stretching all the walls, no question. Well, Aaron was by, and he told us about they're having a, a big uh, race, uh, and they're having, uh, that is a running race, uh, human beings. <laughs> in <laughs> and, August, yes. In August, and we're having all kinds of events. We have weddings here. We have all kinds of meetings. We have... Uh, civic meetings, city councils, county boards. You know, we're a true multi-purpose facility, and we're that way all year long. So we're available for meetings, parties, functions. Uh, we're really your place for entertainment in the North Metro area. Well, I know you and your lovely wife, Karen, live here, right in this area, over towards Stillwater. Yep. And um, so you uh, you put your money where your mouth was. Uh, absolutely, no question about that. And, you know, we've been here just a little bit over five years now, and it's one of the best places we've ever lived. So we're very, very happy here. Well, we're very happy to have Bob Farinella as our general manager. He's a big reason why we're as successful as we are. We want to thank Bob and his Thanks, family. John. Appreciate you coming out. Thank you. Hey, we got a bunch of people having some fun here. I think they're all from Northeast Minneapolis. What's your name, sir? Richard Ziska. Rich, where are you from? Columbia Heights. And this is? Marianne O'Brien. And where are you from, Marianne? Columbia Heights. Columbia Heights. And? Jim Legreen from Spring Lake Park. Okay. And? Sandy Legreen, Spring Lake Park. Okay. Well, these folks are not far from this building, I'll tell you. Uh, and uh, are you all having a good time? A real good time. Okay. I, a few bucks. I, I'm glad to hear that. And uh, are you going to make, um, what, a million? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, how's the food tonight? Food is great. Uh, more than enough. What did you have? Uh, the salmon. Was it good? Wonderful. I'll have it again. Well, Running Aces is a success because of nice people like this. Come out here. These are the kind of people you'll meet. Wonderful people, neighborhood people, and they're having a good... Oh, and this is, this is their table. <laughs> hey, next we got Rick's Picks, and I know he's got a special guest he wants to introduce us to. Hey, Rick. Hi, I'm Rick's Picks. What I do is Rick's Picks, Rick Schendel. And uh, Rick, tell us about Rick's Picks. How does that work? 
What I do is I'm a handicapper here at uh, Running Aces. What I do is I tell people who I think from the past and how they've done in the past, or the drivers out here, what they've done in the past, uh, I determine who's going to win. I've been doing it about 25, 30 years. Um, What's your percentage? About 30%. 30%. I'm pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, if I got that on the stock market, I wouldn't feel bad. German, yes. <laughs> I just have to convince him to make sure that he picks my horse. Oh yes, there I've been go. I've been trying for a couple of years. <laughs> well, do, you, do you have a horse? I yeah. do. I am a horse owner. Yeah. And yeah. what's the horse's name? Together again. I got a horse right here. His name is Paul Revere. <laughs> anyway, so is he going to win tonight or has he won? He qualified tonight and he will win next Saturday night. Next Saturday. Holy mackerel. Wow, I'm talking to a big shot there. Two well, of them. I'm very confident. <laughs> I got great driver and trainers. Uh, Bob and Ryan and Nick Lems. And so you, you have a harness uh, American Standard Bred horse? I do, yes. yes. And what's the difference between a trotter and a pacer? It's the way that they run their gates, the gates. But I mean, do they do they race trotters against pacers? No, they stay with... They do at fairs, at the fairground okay, races. Yeah, but... They do, but not here. Not here. Nope, just the fairs, just at the fairs. Are there, there more trotters or pacers? I believe pacers. Pacers, pacers they, yes. They have Yep. The reason why they don't mix it is because they're bred as pacers or they're bred as trotters, right. generally. So it's completely different. It looks similar, but it's different pace that they run at, and they're. But trained. but but Rick, I won't see uh, racers racing trotters out here in in uh, sanctioned races. No, no not only at, at the fair at the, the fairs, fairs, the fairground races. Okay. You'll see that. And give us your name again. Brenda McDonald. Brenda, do you have how many horses? I have one, and looking to get number two. Good. Where are you from? I'm from Rush City, Minnesota. Ah, right up the road. Yep, yep. Well, we're we're happy to have you both here, and you're part of our success, and thank you so much. Well, thank you. We'll be right back. We're out here on the track. It's a beautiful night, and as you can see, the horses are warming up. There's going to be a race in a few seconds, and we have some special guests here. Hi, what's your name, and what city are you from? Uh, Cindy, Lina Lakes. And? Jerry from Lina Lakes. And? I'm Allie. Now, is it Jerry? Is it <laughs> is it Allie's birthday? It is. She's 24 today, and she wanted to come out here to have a special night with you. 24? I, I would have said 19. <laughs> but I guess that's not good when you're that young. I mean, <laughs> she doesn't have to worry. Anyway, are you having a good time? I am. I'm winning. Oh my goodness! How much? Like two dollars. <laughs> oh, two dollars! My goodness! But that's the thing about out here, isn't it, Jerry? You can you can bet two bucks, you can bet two hundred. Yep, we did. We this is what our third or fourth year coming out here. Probably get out here three or four times a year. It's ten minutes from our house. We love it. It's fun. It's exciting, and we have a good time. You know, Cheap entertainment. Uh, <laughs> Cheap entertainment. Well, it is, and you know we really don't have a venue like this in the North Metropolitan area. Uh, that's so much fun and good food. Have you have you had anything to eat out here? Not yet tonight. We're sticking to the liquid diet. <laughs> How's the beer? It's really good. <laughs> I recommend the Reds. The, okay. Good. The Reds. Oh, oh, the reds. The reds. All right. Well, geez, we're lucky to have uh, patrons like you folks. Thank you for coming out here. We hope you'll continue to come out here and have a good time. Thank so, uh, Thank you. one, two, three, go running aces. One, two, three. Go, go running aces. aces. Double, double, well, we're back at Running Aces, opening night, and it's just great. 2013, biggest opening night we've ever had. It keeps getting bigger every year. And one of the reasons is because we've had a great friend as Anoka County Commissioner, Chairman of the Anoka County Board. Now he's gone to do another uh, line of work. He's now a Commissioner of the Racing Commission of the State of Minnesota, Dan Earhart. Dan, welcome. Hey, John, thank you very much. Uh, oh, you've been to every opening, I think. I've been to every opening here. I've been to so many meetings here. Well, and you win uh, watch money? <laughs> one. I can't bet, John, oh, as, you, yeah, as you know. That's yeah. uh, part that's of right. the legal requirements here. That, uh, but you can eat. I can eat, and in uh, fact, we're going to have dinner here tonight. And the food at this place is just wonderful. Well, thank I, you. The quality of the food has been great. And, uh, well, I'll thanks tell you, to just, you, a lot of people are working here. There, there are 500 people working. Without your support, Dan, I mean this, they wouldn't be working tonight. And uh, because of you and all your great help with the Hennepin County, with the, well, Hennepin County and with Anoka County and with the state of Minnesota and everybody else, this place is here. And you're to be thanked for that. Well, there's just been so many people. You certainly have been involved in this. And so many people have worked so hard to get this facility here. 
And I am just very pleased that I was a little bit a part of that and uh, been able to help in, in getting this uh, facility located here and being able to allow to continue to participate in uh, in this uh, process and uh, and to see another wonderful opening evening here with so many people here even though it's a little cool out but it isn't raining and the horses are running and people are really enjoying the entertainment but the real uh, secret to his success is dan was a land baron up in pine county just north of here and he when he isn't doing that he's over in south dakota shooting pheasants dan we're lucky to have you for a friend thank you so much well, we just uh, enjoy all of those. I uh, enjoy working on a little bit on the land from a farm up in uh, Pine City, and that's, uh, you know, my interest in animals and horses uh, that certainly has been part of it. Uh, I uh, spent a lot of time out uh, doing pheasant hunting out on that uh, ranch out in South Dakota, and they uh, depend on horses for their operation. I know it. And so that's continued to give me a great interest in horses, and I am, uh, you know, particularly interested in uh, the entire racing industry in the state of Minnesota. Uh, I, I like uh, the trotters, the, the pacers here, and of course the thoroughbreds and quarter horses at Canterbury, and it's a very, very important part of the business community. Millions and millions of dollars Absolutely. for the people of Minnesota. And, uh, and it's not only the people that own horses, uh, but it's the people that are in the whole agricultural community that raise food, feed for those horses, and, uh, and also house them and train them and work with them. Well, Dan, thanks a million. Thanks for your help. I hope you have fun tonight. I know you can't gamble, you can't make money, but you can go up and sell some land. All right. Well, thanks, Dan. Thank you, John. Appreciate uh, being here this evening and looking forward to a very entertaining evening. We'll see you next time. All right. Uh, you certainly will. Um, okay, we got some special guests here tonight. They're here with Commissioner Earhart, her old friend, and his wife, Kathy, who are having something to eat. And uh, Brian and Sue, right? Brian, Brian, Fitzgerald. Brian, how are you? Wonderful, wonderful. Having a good time. How's the food? Wonderful, wonderful. But my wife's losing all my money. <laughs> is that true? Yeah, it is true. <laughs> but are you having true. a good time? Absolutely, absolutely a great time. It's well, a great crowd tonight. It's amazing. Isn't that nice? It's wonderful. It's all because of that guy. I it believe is. that. It is. I believe it that. Is. Yep. We're all here because of Dan. Uh, this is one of the strongest supporters of this place, Running Aces, and he's been a friend forever. Sir, what's your name? Uh, Myron, Oregon, Columbus. And Myron, uh, you were on the city council when we approved Running Aces, were you not? Correct. And you voted for it, and, and thank goodness for people like you, because there's 500 people working here tonight because of what you did. Well, I don't think it was because of what I did personally, but there were a lot of people in Columbus that were uh, behind this track. Well, I think it was, and I uh, can't think, of, and, and Myron still is on the planning commission here in Columbus. That's correct also. You're very well informed. <laughs> well, thank you, Myron, for all your help and for being such a good friend of this institution. Thank you. Okay, we got a great bunch of folks here. I think they're betting, and I hope we're not interrupting them. Let's just go around the table fast, find out who they are and where they're from. Julie Weiss from Andover. I'm Cindy from Blaine. Mike from Blaine. And I'm Sherry from Blaine. I'm Becky from Blaine. Oh, wow. Blaine, Andover, wow. Neighbors. That's great. We are well, neighbors. Are, you, are you guys, uh, are you, <laughs> yeah. Are you your neighbors of ours? We're neighbors. Too. Yeah, because a lot of the people who work here are from those towns. And that's really great. I mean, there's 500 people working here and more when this racing season starts. And uh, so it's great to have that kind of participation supporting the people that work here from our towns. Anyway, um, how's the food? Uh, I haven't eaten anything. <laughs> and have any of you had anything to eat? Okay. The cookies are good. The popcorn yeah. is good. <laughs> okay, well, what's that? Euros are good. Euros are, Euros are good. good. Are they? Well, Euros yeah. are good. That's good. Uh, and I hope you guys all win a million bucks. And are you having a good time? Oh, yes. Wonderful time. Yes. Very nice, but the weather could be nice. You bet. Yeah. Mother Nature could be uh, friendlier. Yeah. And yet, I want to tell you guys, this is the best night we've ever had tonight. Uh, this is our sixth season. And uh, for opening nights, it's the best one we ever had, and we've had beautiful opening nights. But that means we're growing, 
and uh, thanks to people like That's you guys. Awesome. And I hope you come back and, and uh, be here for our seafood uh, dinners and everything else we have here. We love that. Coming out here on a, on a Saturday night when it's like 70 or 80 degrees, it's, there's nothing better. It's beautiful. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. And I hope you guys come. It takes 20 minutes to get here. Well, that and that's good. And, and uh, really, there's no venue like this on, uh, on the uh, north metro area. And uh, we're so lucky to have good people like you coming out. And thank you very much for allowing us to interview you. Thank you. Okay, can I ask you one, two, three, go running aces? Will you do that? Yeah. Sure, sure, absolutely. One, two, three. Go, go running aces! <laughs> Our next guest is Aaron Bedesim. And Aaron has a very important job here at Running Aces. He keeps us going. He's the director of marketing. We've got a great crowd here tonight. And this guy's largely responsible for that. Aaron, how are you? Good, thanks John, I appreciate the kind words. Aaron, what year is this for us? It's our sixth racing season, so we're pretty excited. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. It does, year. doesn't it? Yeah, it was opening day, it's raining. Well, rain kind of held off, but it's cold. They still came out, so our yeah, product we a, is... I think we got the biggest opening day crowd we ever had, just, just eyeballing it. Absolutely, I would agree. Tell us a little bit about your job and marketing. What kind of events are you looking for here at Running Aces? Well, we try to make ourselves the premier destination for just entertainment in the North Metro. We're, we're very excited. We just secured uh, a 5K run, the Dirty Girl 5K. That's going to bring in around two to 4,000 runners and another four to 6,000 people. So we're going to bring 10,000 people to the city of Columbus for a 5K event on our track on August 3rd. So that's, well, that'll that's, be fun. What day is it? Saturday, August 3rd. So wow. that's, that's one of our two runs that we've started. We've got our Halloween event that we do in the uh, October. And we turn our barns into a haunted house. We do another 5K event. And we're willing to bring in any event that's going to bring in people and entertain. The Not crowds. that I want to, but I can get married here, can you? You can. We, we use our event space for uh, buffets, weddings, uh, galas, anything with uh, to just help the community and, and be that destination spot for them. How's the food? Food is excellent. We, we've added a crab fest on Thursday nights. Fridays is an all you can eat prime rib and ribs, so come with an appetite. And then Sundays, we have a Sunday brunch that just keeps getting better and better. Aaron's a great guy and a great friend and a great promoter for Running Aces, and we're lucky to have him. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, John. All the best. All right. Anyway, we got a nice group of people here. They're having a good time, I think. And would you give me your name and where you're from? Jason, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Calgary, holy mackerel. Well, you, he gets the prize for coming the farthest, right here. <laughs> and this is? My name is Amy, and I'm from Lindstrom, Minnesota. So from where? Lindstrom. Lindstrom, Minnesota. Well, that's not very far, but we're glad because you'll come back. I think. Yes, I <laughs> and this beautiful lady is Tanya, and I'm from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Yes, what a wonderful place that is, up in the mountains and gorgeous place. And this guy, I'm Dan, and I'm from Lindstrom as well. Okay, Lindstrom, Minnesota, which is a neighbor, not far. So uh, we're we're really grateful you're all here. Are you having a good time? Excellent time. Are you? Yeah. So uh, are you betting? A uh, little bit, yes. Yeah. Have you won? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> he will, though. He'll win, he'll win a million bucks. I know it. I can see it. Look at that. Anyway, have you bet at all? You know, yes. I've bet on every race, and I've lost every race. But we've had winners in the group. It just hasn't been me. Well, we want to thank you for coming, and uh, I hope you guys are all having a good time. And come back. Pardon me? I've won. Oh, she won. There I we won are. Big two. And you won too. You didn't yeah. ask us. 16 to 1. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, winners everywhere. Wait, you know, everybody talks about how good the food is here, and everybody said that tonight. And I guess the reason is because we've got a good food and beverage manager, David Kremsdorf. Hi, Dave. Oh, good evening. How are you tonight? I'm good, Dave. Good. Uh, um, how's it going? It looks great. Oh, the opening night's been awesome. You know, we were a little concerned about the weather, but uh, we have a great local following, and uh, our restaurant has been full, our concessions are packed, and I can't ask for anything more than that. Well, thank you very much, David Kemsdorf. Great. And if you come out here, you'll see what a good manager he is, because the food is fantastic. Great. Thank Thanks. you, David. Thanks, man. i got a bunch of people here having a good time, and uh, let's see who they are. Every year I get a handkerchief. I'm here on opening day every year. Every year. What's, what's your name? My name is Bill. This is my friend. What town Frank. are you from? 
I'm from White Bear Township. Frank is drove all the way here from Inver Invergrove Heights. Heights. Good. And this guy? I'm Tim Clucker. I live in Oakdale, Minnesota. Oakdale. Good. Well, we're really glad to have you all here, and I hope you're having a good time. Yeah, we we always come. We love it. We'll be here. We come once a week all summer. Tracy Wilson is the CFO of Running Aces. She has all the secrets. She knows where all the bones are buried. She's the most important person I know. Anyway, Tracy, how are you? Hi, John. We're doing great. This is our sixth live racing season. We're so excited. We have 550 employees, and we bump up during this race season by another 100 seasonal employees. We are so excited to launch the racing. Now, the weather could have been a hair better, but it's not. Um, yeah, but even though it's not, isn't this a great night? Oh, it is. Fantastic. And if you were here at 630, we had skydivers that landed on the track. It was great. Um, if you've been over in the card room, we have 63 tables. Did you go over there? I did. And uh, we have progressive jackpots. No, did you see that? Yes, I did. We have, a, we have two progressive jackpots in excess of 100,000 right now. So get on over there and play some cards. Well, Tracy, this is what, our sixth year? Sixth season. And uh, don't we do better than ever? We do. 2012 was just a great year, and 2013 is starting just as well. Great well, year. I think largely because of you. I mean, Tracy has been a wonderful manager. She is a great manager for our money. And um, I've seen her stare down some of the toughest CPAs in the Midwest. She's really good at what she does, and we're lucky to have her. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Who are you guys? I'm Jessica, I'm the Aces Rewards Manager. Welcome to Running Aces. We want you to have a wonderful time and enjoy the races. And? I'm Brittany, I'm one of the Aces Rewards representatives. And welcome to Running Aces and hope you have a wonderful time. Well, here's a guy who looks like uh, he knows what's going on in the racing world. What's your name, sir? Vincent. Vincent what? Ramutar. Ramutar. And where are you from originally, Vincent? British Guyana. British Guyana? Yeah. Uh, South America. That's it. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, how, how do you come here tonight? Well, I live near here. I live in East Bethel, and it's closer to me than Canterbury, you know? <laughs> <laughs> are you having a good time? A beautiful time. And are, what are, you, are you betting on horses, or are you playing no, cards? I, I, no, no cards. I only play on the horses. I see. Well... I'll bet you're an expert. No, I'm not. I just have fun here. Well, Vincent, uh, thank you for coming to Running Aces. God We're really happy to have you here. I enjoy it. This is a good place. And would you advise people to come out and have yes, a Yes, I would always advise them. It's a family-oriented place. My next guest has been a leader in this industry Far more than I can remember. He's been there forever. He's just a great guy. He was a state senator in Minnesota for a long time. He was the majority leader of the state senate from Owatonna, Minnesota, Dick Day. Hey, senator. Hey, good to be with you, John. How are you? Good. Oh, I'm wonderful. It's great to have you out here tonight on Open Hey, Night. it's great to be at Running Aces. I had a great crowd. Uh, as you well know, I'm a huge supporter of yes, Running Aces, and I hope that uh, they have a good year this year. We get more horses, and I hope we can prosper down the road. I think we will with your help. Now you've been a real leader in this whole industry and helped get it started and you've traveled the state. I know because I went behind you and everybody loves you and I, I know you're very well uh, versed on this subject. What do you think uh, about the next session of legislature? Well we know uh, John the, the legislators whether they like it or not they all seem to know that we, we need money, we need money for education. We're now building the stadium, which we did a tobacco tax. I don't even know how all that's gonna fit in, no. you know? And here's, a, pla here's a place that the, the, the taxpayers could really benefit if we could get some slot machines in here to running aces. What a wonderful place. It has, it has gambling 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's already here. Let's get some slot machines 
get it going with the horse racing, which is going great. Uh, it's a win-win for everybody, but mostly for Minnesotans. Well, you heard it from the master. This guy really knows what he's talking about. We're lucky to have him as a friend of Running Aces, an ally for all the citizens of Minnesota. And I hope he sticks around for a long time and helps us. Thank you, Senator. I'll be here. You know, one of the best parts of Running Aces is the food. The food is fantastic. And partially, and most of all, because we have fantastic wait staff here. We got really good young people who hustle and try to help people and give them a good meal. And we're gonna meet some of them right here. We'll start with Tony. Hi, Tony. Hi, What's your name, Tony? Tony. Peterson. Tony Peterson. Tony, Pe where are you from, Tony? Forest Lake. Okay, and this is? Faith. Where are you from, Faith? Centerville. Okay, and? Maddie. I'm from Lionel Lakes. Peyton. From? Uh, Forest Lake. Forest Lake. Okay, well, thanks. You guys do a great job, and thank you very much for all you do for us. Our next guest is a neighbor of ours and has been a strong supporter of Running Aces and we're very grateful for being here tonight. Roberta Grindquist. Bobby, Hello, John. thank you for coming. Certainly, you're welcome. Well, have we been a good neighbor to you? Uh, yeah. Uh, I could say the tax base is kind of high, but I love uh, the entertainment of coming to Running Aces to watch the standard bred horses. I've been a resident 30 years. I can't believe it, 30 years. This April, 2013, and I think it's just a great place for family and friends to get together. I'm looking for my friends, and I ran into John, and I just wanted to say, hey, come on down to Running Aces, and you be the judge on what you think of the park. But I just really like the great uh, customer service that all the staff here, if you're at the restaurant or just come in at the park, just the friendly customer service here at Running Aces, and check it out for yourself. Well, Thanks, thank you so much for the nice words. We really appreciate it. And I hope you win a million bucks tonight. Hey, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We'll be right back. Well, that's it. What a night. I mean, the place is packed. We're having a great time. Everybody's enjoying themselves. The food is great. The entertainment's great. There's nothing like this in the North Metropolitan area. Please come out to Running Aces and have fun with us. It's going to be a great summer of racing. Come and join us.